I feel like it's a brand new year, and yet here I am, constantly singing the same, like, nearing 20-year-old Gran Turismo music, in my intermission music. It never gets old, and I don't feel bad about that. I don't know. I, I, there's, there's tons of video game music where, you know, it's timeless. Just like this, 3, 2, 1. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the p and stream today on this fine, 1st of January 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you have had a wonderful end of 2023. Uh, it's been two weeks since I've streamed, but uh, for those suit on the YouTube channel, there's a bonus video for the Shadow Man that came out. Um, it was on the 27th. I uploaded it late. Or I, or I published it late. But uh, it's there. Uh, that should have held you for the time. It's 2024. It's the start of a new year. And what better way to start a new year than to jump straight into a new game. Here we go. Whoop. Hey, there we go. Very, very nice. This is Quake 2 2023. They finally did it. I was sort of waiting for this to maybe happen uh, as a 25th anniversary release, just like Quake 2, sorry, Quake 1 had a 25th anniversary release um, in 2021. Uh, I played that one on the channel already. Uh, Long story short, it's a, uh, a Kex engine port. The Kex engine is uh, Samuel Villarreal's uh, baby child engine that seems to run a lot of old retro games that seem to be made on very different engines, but he seems to manage to get them all running on this one common engine pretty nicely. Uh, give it a bunch of extra features. Rip this demo, by the way. Uh, give it a bunch of extra features. Uh, Quake 2021, I thought, was super special because it had kind of like... Um, had this additional episode uh, called the uh, the Call of the Machine, and uh, it was really, 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 really well done. Um, so I was hoping Quake 2020, sorry Quake 2, would have that same treatment in 2022, but alas, it never happened. And uh, when it did happen, it was uh, August last year. Last year, I know. So it's January 1st. So this is only a, a four-month-old port, but. Uh, for anyone who did own Quake 2, just like Quake 1 happened, uh, you would get this as a free upgrade. Um, you can still run the old versions, the content is still there if you wanted to run source ports and stuff like that. Um, it also meant that these would be available on consoles, so yes, as a Switch owner, you can buy this version of Quake 2. Um, let's jump into it. It's sort of the same game, uh, the same kind of port as Quake 1 was, where, um, you know, you've got your multiple single-player modes. Um, unfortunately, unlike Quake 1, we don't have the custom, you know, map shop. I don't think they really supported it very much, but you could repoint it to your own repository of maps in Quake 1, which was pretty cool. Here, nah, the engine just kind of plays games like normal. You can still open the console, you can still load VSP, so it works out in the end. Um, we also have this vault of, uh development art which is very very neat good on them for adding this kind of stuff but uh i would like to start off by just diving right in we're gonna watch we're gonna see what quake 2 is about first of all there is a tutorial that is actually added in as part of this uh 2023 um game uh for reference as well uh you get a choice of a male or a female um player I have chosen a female, so the, the pitch is a bit higher on the jump noises. Also, you can pick the tag. They've referenced Chip's Challenge in a official video game. As well as also, there's some real fun ones. Like, um, I'm pretty sure some people are like, Caleb? The Free Cell? Turok? System Shock? Uh, someone was going to tell me off. Is this an Elder Scrolls game? I think it is. Shadow Man? Um, yeah, there's so many of these tags that are relating to other PC games, some released at this time, some are, uh, you know, just, <laughs> we got Ski Free, we got Ski Free, what more could you ask for? Uh, except those only appear in multiplayer. Uh, Quake 2, um, similar to Quake 1, we don't have a use button, you just kind of go up to walls and buttons and press them. You got a lot of walls that you can shoot as well. Um... This tutorial actually gives you kind of a nice uh, glimpse as to like, what are some things that you probably should know about for Quake? Uh, particularly, we have this equipment wheel. Uh, so Quake 1 did not have items. Quake 2, you pick up items and you can use them from this menu, uh, which you can hold down Q for. And you can hold down E to get that same old weapon wheel as before. Um, 
Also, if you are lost, first of all, some walls can be shot. If you are lost, they, like, they designed this area just to go, hey, yeah, just remember, there is a compass. You can use that. So you can Bioshock Infinite your way through the game if you ever get lost. Uh, there's also some newer enemies that appear in uh, the newer levels. You're not going to see these for a bit, uh, but we have some enemies that will revive enemies and some that will just flat out spawn enemies. These guys are jerks. We'll get into that. We will get into that. Uh, also, some enemies have shields, which need to have blaster weapons to take them out. Or these power shields, where you got no hope. You can't even hit them from the back. And there you go. Also, then they bait you and then they throw one of these guys at you. There are many more secrets. Perhaps there are more secrets, but I don't know. The tutorial doesn't have any. Uh, Quake 2, um, well, let's just dive in. Let's play on hard, just because I feel like it. Now, this, this remaster also is very nice, and they redid all of these cutscenes, even for the expansions, um, just to at least help you see and hear what's going on, because uh, a lot of people probably played Quake 2 on an engine that did not support the full motion video cutscenes that happened at the beginning. So you'd probably not even see these. Now, granted... Not a lot really happens in them. Um, I think Quake 2 is an interesting transitional point for uh, it as a, a company because John Romero had left after the development of Quake 1 um, to make his big brand new game called Daikatana, which took a fair bit of time to come out. We'll get into that one maybe later. Um, John Romero is not necessarily the only level designer or game designer, but he is certainly one of the strongest ones i feel when it comes to id a lot of the best levels that we all know particularly a lot of the opening levels in doom and quake one came from john romero quake 2 doesn't have that and therefore it sort of feels like a little bit of a hodgepodge of mechanics uh, even though this was uh mildly a simpler game to tackle they weren't really thinking of throwing rpg elements at it like quake one they weren't really thinking of doing a lot of stuff um but you will probably spot a bit of uh, aimlessness, I guess. We take place in space because, of course, you know, we are, we're, we're, we're in the future. We are gone from the abstract realms of Lovecraftian horrors of Quake 1 or weird abstract line death bases of Doom and the grids of Wolfenstein. Uh, this game is a proper... It looks like an actual video game and not like a weird, like you know, maze, basically. But, uh, on the flip side, I think you do get a little bit of this, um, sameness with the level design. But that being said, I think there is still enough cool stuff to look at. Um... Apparently, people would just can't play. Conductor, we got a problem! Well, this guy's not having a fun time, either. Uh, your villain this time around is the Strog. They are an alien race where they fuse with machines and, uh, they... You're in a war with them, and I don't know much about that. But apparently the Strog are really good at what they do, which is defending their homeland. Who's the bad guys again? I guess they do evil things. They don't- they don't abide by the prisoner of war, you know, strategy. Strategy? A little freaky EMP down here. There are so much dialogue though. This just happens. But the TLDR or the TLDL, I guess, of uh, of this is uh Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people get wrecked. A lot of people get oofed. Uh <laughs> No flight control. I I hold on, where is he? Where is he hiding? It's a very dark video, but again, you know, dark side of the moon, I guess. Oh, maybe we're first person, I guess. Well, you should have seen. Where did you learn to fly? Yeah. Uh. And we start off in the outer base. I hope you like that slow motion that you get by looking up uh, this screen. This uh, this little prompt is there in the original game, so there's there's not really too much that actually is different between this version and 
uh, the regular versions of Quake 2, but there will be a couple of differences, uh, some noteworthy right at the beginning of this level. Um, Quake 2's got a lot of, like, nice, interesting, like, you know, pathways and level design, and the enemies are actually pretty neat. We start off with this pistol, it's a bit dingy, um, but it's got infinite ammo, which, uh, does its job, given that Quake 1 didn't have an infinite weapon. No, the game's had an infinite ammo weapon. Uh, this means no melee. You'll just, you know, shoot things, basically. Uh, you'll also notice sometimes it's a little dark, like this hallway. You can use the light. Happy New Year, blub! Greetings, how's it going? Um, you can use your, your little pistol to actually light up some dark corridors. You'll see me using that a, a, a little bit. Um, just a little bit, but yeah. Um, other than that though, we're gonna deal with some pretty basic enemies, but a lot of the enemies in this game are hit scanning, so do know I am gonna be repeatedly hitting F5 uh, a bit. Don't worry, we're not going to be using the pistol for too long, because now we've got a shotgun. The shotgun is pretty cool. I mean, it's a shotgun, what do you expect? But, like, it does a lot of cool stuff. Been sick with the fever since Friday evening. Might not type too much. Don't know how well I feel. Well, feel better, my man. Hopefully the new year brings in some good vibes and some good, uh, some good energy coming your way, so you rest up and heal up better. But nah, uh, coming down with the fever is not the best. Mostly listening and watching from the bed. Hey, that's all good. As long as you're, you know, you're resting up and you feel better soon, that's the best. Always love the streams? That's cool. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, these strong love their, um, the National Socialist iconography right there. Am I allowed to say that? That's some iconography going on. Uh, people who have played the original game, uh, will probably uh, be screaming because they're like, holy crap, this keeps on going. Uh, there's a couple of areas where they just expanded it. They just made this area a little bigger. This whole courtyard was not here in the original versions of the game. They only added it in as part of this version. Similar to how uh, Quake 2021 uh, was it E2 M6? M5? I think it was M6. Basically added this whole first half that uh, was cut out for space reasons. Um, unfortunately that door is not accessible. I've no clipped in. I can guarantee there's nothing to do in there. Oh, hi there. But yeah, um... You're gonna hear me jumping a lot, I'll tell you that. Uh, this game is broken down into, uh, what is referred to as units. There are ten units in the game, and if you ever, uh, start the game from the main menu, you can't start a level, per se. You can only start the unit. Think of it like a world, um, consists of a couple of levels, um, sort of like Hexen, if anyone remembers that one from ages ago. Maybe I'll redo that one, because uh, I would like to play it a bit more genuinely. It's pretty genuine, but just, you know, there were some things at the source port that I feel like, mm, I could provide a much better UI uh, than what I streamed. I've heard the name. I would definitely give he Hexen, it's a very, very unique game. I, by the way, I'm not going to be able to find all the secrets, but... I will definitely do my best to show off all three secret levels in the game when they come up. Uh, the first one is in the first unit. Uh, there are ten units in the game, and uh, we'll... I think the other two are in units five and eight. So... Mm, we'll see if we get around to the other ones uh, this stream. I don't know how many streams this is going to take, because also remember, uh, we got more episodes and of course a new 2023 uh, level pack, set of levels to play. Um, it's arguably better and not as cool... Oh, how do I phrase it? To spoiler the level pack, I think that some of the level geometry is not as impressive as the Quake ones, but I really like some of the mechanics that they actually pull off. Uh, we got a new weapon, by the way. We got this uh, machine gun. They just call it that. It's like a SMG, I guess. But you'll be using this a bit to like... Pew, 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 the enemies. These will basically be your two go-to weapons, your shotgun and your machine gun. There are a lot of dudes here. I believe, uh, there are even the- oh, sorry, for reference as well, uh, yes, I did pick my difficulty from a menu and not by walking through gates like Quake. That's a stylistic side grade if anyone cared too much about how you picked your levels, or your difficulty levels in Quake 1. Nah, it's just as simple, it's just loaded from a menu. Uh, the soundtrack to this game is provided by an artist called Sonic uh, Mayhem. Uh, it's just a guy, but uh, he made a soundtrack um, in response to Quake 1, and apparently, 
was it, um, ooh, does Wikipedia say it was John Romero? Maybe. Uh, explicitly wanted him to do the soundtrack for the sequel, for Quake 2. Uh, and he also did a um, bunch of music for Quake 3, so good on him. And he's done a lot of work for other games, but I think Quake 2 was sort of his, uh, his um, you know, sort of entry uh, level, entry into uh, writing video game music. So good on him. He's, he's still around. He does a lot of good work. Um, it's very different to, uh, you know, Quake 1's, you know, industrial uh, kind of, you know, well, industrial nature. It's definitely just a, a more, um, yeah, it's more rock. It's still got its industrial aspects, but it is not, you know, it's not all over the place. Um, and that's, to be honest, it's fine. I think it actually sets this game apart fairly nicely. Um, you know, you got your real, you know, relatively more real weapons, uh, a much more grounded um, world space. Where am I going? I will use the compass from time to time, but... There we go. <laughs> Yeah, hit this button, let's open this hatch. Uh, this is an example of going into another level, but then we'll come back. Um, so don't, don't worry if you feel like you're missing some uh, enemies, because as long as you don't exit the whole, uh, the whole unit, which you'll know that you are, uh, then, you know, you can go back for enemies. Although, in the grand scheme of things, you know. If you're missing enemies or things like that, does it really matter? There we go. Check this out. I, I know that secret area. And then if you go down here, this is a whole secret level down here. So this is the first secret level. How many minutes are we in? 17? And I'm pretty sure I sat on the title screen for like five minutes. Uh, so this is the Lost Station. This is a secret level and a half. I'm sort of running through things pretty quickly, but I hope that uh, you get the gist of what's going on. We got explosive barrels, so this game's cool. Uh, we got these like chain gunner enemies. Uh, you don't want to let them chain gun you, but if you shoot them enough, their head comes off, so that's cool. Um, lots of little guys. There's been a couple of different varieties of them. Um, I'm pretty sure you gotta swim down here. You gotta watch out, there's some fish enemies. Uh, all my homies hate fish enemies. Or oh, that's a, just another secret area. And I've got another rebreather, um, which you'll see in there. The adrenaline is, uh, I believe that, um, does it make you run? Oh my gosh, hi there. Oh, you gotta watch out for these guys. Actually, uh, <laughs> bonus points if we, well, we'll find another, another example of them. The, the, they show up a bunch. Uh, those enemies, I forgot their names. They're in the menu. We'll see them again. Um, but those enemies, uh... In this remaster, what they actually do is that they spit out their tongue uh, to try and like suck your health. And uh, in the remaster, they can actually miss and get stuck on the wall behind you. So it kind of incapacitates them for like half a second, which is pretty cool. I love this lift, by the way. It's just, it's just like, oh, okay. It's dancing. Oh, oh, that was a jump. That was a jump, wasn't it? But yeah, no, I hope everyone has um, had a, you know, a great 2023 and, uh, you know, 2024 is... Oh, there's a fish. Get him out of there. I don't want him. Get out of there, fish. I want to see if I can get that guy back there just so I don't have to deal with him. I'm not sure if he's gripping the... Oh, right there. Yeah, no, I hope everyone's had a great 2020, uh, 2023, and, um, yeah, if you haven't had a great 2020, or you, if you didn't have a great 2023, it's full over now. So hit that button, and we've got more fish, very cool. More secrets. I, I love my secrets, apparently. If I keep swimming over in this direction, there we go. Get him out of there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not one to particularly harbor on like New Year's resolutions because 
plants can always change, um, but I do find having some like general things that you want to try and like push for or do or things like that, or things that you feel like you were doing well and you just want to keep going. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going back down. I'm going back down. There you go. Um, but yeah, for me, uh, the one thing I really want to get into is uh, I really want to start, you know, really dedicating into music production. Uh, not like as in full-time hobby or full-time job more just like I want to build something I want to make something and uh, I think I've got the tools I've got all that stuff I just need to really put down the time commit iterate and just improve like that because I'm always afraid of uh, you know, making something that's not perfect when really you know hey you're just gonna make stuff at some point Lots of enemies in this level as opposed to like any other level. Did I just want- I wandered around to the start. Where did those guys come from? Maybe they dropped down or something. Probably should have been like a- like a ding ding in my head. The um, the lift was very quick. It takes a lot longer to come back around. I'm oh, sorry, to- to go around and to come back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Actually continuing on the level the way it was intended. Um, but yeah, yeah, I really want to get into that kind of stuff. Uh, I also feel like, uh, you know, I, I think I've, I've, I, I don't, I don't talk about my work too much. Uh, but I definitely feel like, uh, you know, I've had easy breezy times, uh, in previous years and definitely 2023 was tricky because that was the first year I started to really feel the, you know, the grunt of, uh, decisions made by pretty much every company um, so I feel like 2024 will be a great learning experience as to how to handle it how to cope how to how to handle how to deal with it um, and I, I don't know if like lots of people might have experienced this um, but definitely uh, oh we can hop down here look at that oh there you go adrenaline's not speed it's health I should remember that. I, for reference, I've played Quake 1 a bajillion times. I've played Quake 2 a few times. Definitely, I played this 2023 version somewhat recently, but, uh, um, unlike, uh, Tomb Raider, for example, I am not, you know, playing this ahead of time to remind myself about things. I'm just gonna go in, we're gonna witness it, we're gonna experience it. This is a much more genuine Blendo playthrough, how about that? I hope you like those flying enemies as well. Um, but none of the enemies, are, are, apart from maybe the medic guys that they've added in, none of them are like, too bad. Uh, I need a red key. Oh, what's the red key? My hunch is that the red key is just somewhere down here, but... I think we'll need to look around for it. Yeah, I think we'll need to look around for it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't really have... Um, too much of a New Year's resolution of a big, like, you know, kind of thing I'm working on or building on. Um, I'd really like to just continue doing the things that, like, I've enjoyed. That looks like a key. Ah. Look at that. Hiding in plain sight. There's, there's a lot of weird fall damage in this game, I'll tell you that. And a lot of weird doors. There we go. Uh, but let's talk about some uh, some things that I actually sort of did over the past week. Um, or two weeks, I guess. Um, I definitely, I spent a bit of time with my parents, just chilling. So uh, some of it was just resting and catching up with them and uh, having a good time. Um, there we go, by the way. We got, a, we got a, another weapon. This is the Super Shotgun, because uh, you gotta have a Super Shotgun, right? Every game's gonna have a super shotgun after Doom 2. Uh, it fires two shots and it does what it should do on the tin. It completely annihilates things. Also, are we just working our way back to the level? Oh, hi there. I'm hearing explosions. But they spawned every enemy on the way back, so... Um, one, one thing I did do just as like the, the casual game I did play 
um, a bunch was uh, I got back into Dragon Quest Nine, and I'm particularly going for the retro achievement set, uh, which is a uh, we're going for the accolade subset. So uh, pretty much my goal is that we're gonna get every single accolade in the game. I'm currently in that pain point where there's 26 accolades that you can get for completing the game with some different condition met, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a gamification where it's just like. You know, I know what I need to get, but the game is not really designed around the player getting one at a time, loading their game, and then, you know, triggering the other condition and going for it. It's not really built for that. Every other accolade, I mean, one, because you have to, you know, unload your save in order to, so you lose the accolade. You've only got one at a time for your game clear. And, uh, yeah, given that every other accolade you can just get, and they're all just additive, so you just hit the condition and then you get it. Uh, we're back in this level, by the way. That was a, that was just like a little side cut secret level, just to get the super shotty early. Here we go. You got these dudes. I barely see him down there. I think there's another one just chilling in here. I like that the super shotty does take down these uh, mini gunners in one go, though. So you'll see me using it quite a fair bit until. I draw a bit low on ammo, then it's not as fun. Um, also, check this out. Quad damage, which you can save and use when you need to. So definitely you'll see me saving it and probably not using it unless it really, really seems apt. Um... But yeah, I'm still working my way through those, so I'll tell you how it goes, but I, there's not really anything that I didn't really do. I think there's probably the only accolades that I never really got when I first played uh, Dragon Quest IX, um, probably two years ago now, um, was uh, there were some accolades for like winning enough battles or playing for literal a thousand hours. That one's going to be fun. Going oh, he went for the button. How could he? There's a lot of interesting enemy AI, AI going in this game, by the way. I think, like, it's a very understated point because you do move so fast. Like, you don't move quite as fast as, like, Quake 1, but you do go pretty fast that, like, a lot of the enemies can't exactly keep up with you. They make the levels pretty claustrophobic, though, but it's, I don't know, it's not that claustrophobic, to be honest. Got a lot of, like, you know walkways above walkways though. Also, let me know if I'm swinging the camera a bit too thick. Oh, here we go. Here we got the the real beef. Oh my gosh. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's start the level again, I guess, because I was not quick saving. At least they're kind enough to do a start of the level save, but yeah, yeah, I was going a bit fast. I was going a bit fast. Too fast, too speedy. There's spawn enemies behind me. Hard difficulty does that to you. Hey, get him out of there. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other ones I was playing, um, and I've actually finished both of these, so I'll let you know how they were. Uh, I played through um, Guitar Hero 1. So I think I might mention I was playing that one. Uh, my final thoughts are Guitar Hero 1 is basically, you know, a really good rhythm game, albeit the hammer-ons don't work like they should. Um, you know, you could chalk it up to, well, it's the first game, they didn't know how it worked, but like literally every other Guitar Hero game knows that, oh yes, you should be able to just tap the note when it comes across, and then that's how you play the hammer-on. In the first Guitar Hero game, you have to make sure you still have the previous note held down as you transfer, and it feels a bit gluggy. It feels a bit clunky. I don't think it really, you know, it doesn't quite feel right, so. Man, I lost a lot of armor just then. So I hope you appreciate these enemies shooting, um, you know, shooting when they're done, when they're down. Uh, but yeah, the, the song list is great. I think it's got a lot of jams, a lot of vibes, um, some interesting solos, but generally it plays it pretty, pretty light when it comes to the solos. And every single song on the set list is a cover. And I think, like, if there's one thing that I felt about some of the other Guitar Hero games 
that still had covers was that it felt a little inconsistent when it would do a cover and when it wouldn't. When they're all covers, I don't feel as bad. See, that's where I that's where I fell wrong. I was like, ah, oh, there's one enemies behind you. you. Gotta deal with this guy though. He's like your ogre, he fires grenades. So you can tell where that's going later, but. Another one chilling in there. There we go. We might as well just hop down in here. Press this keyboard in? That's how keyboards work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, that's the primary unit objective. You'll, you know, we've had an objective there and the objective was to grab that keycard. We now need to then install or use the keycard to enter the bunker. Uh... Generally, that's just how they describe all the, the units. It's just some broad objective just to tell you, you know, you need to grab a key or something like that. Um, there's not really too much to it. Oh, whoop, I'm on top of the lift. It's a bit weird looking, ain't it? Um, come on. I'm gonna need a drop on you. Watch my Counter-Strike flick. <laughs> I believe this door just doesn't open until you're done with all that as well. I I also, I just love the, the giving on all these. Oh, you're dropping down on me. I just love the giving. Uh, also, here we go. We got grenades. Grenades are actually item. No, they're not. They're weapons here. You can throw grenades, we'll throw one at the next enemy we find. Or it'll be in the next map, because I guess we killed everyone. Give me an enemy. Pull that lever, it lowers a bridge. Here we go. Eh. I mean, they work like they should. That's all fine. Um. But yeah, no, I've definitely really enjoyed Guitar Hero. The, the only real, like, other than the hammer-ons being kind of weird, um, it doesn't exactly make the game, like, impossible, but you do have to be kind of good to play some of the faster songs. On hard, it's relatively undercharted and very forgiving in that regard, so you don't have to really worry too much. When you're on expert, some of the songs are just like, yeah, this could be a lot easier if I could hammer on some bits. Um, the final song, Bark of the Moon, is definitely quite tricky because you can't really hammer on very well. Um, if you somehow learn how to do the hammer uh, you know, very good job to you. Good on you. But I'd probably say because it's a bit tricky, um, it, some people say the hammer don't work at all. And after playing it, it's like, no, I get where they're coming from. They are just self damaging each other so much. And then I got hit by so much right at the end there. That's okay. Oh, they had a quad damage lying up here. Ah. Oh. I love the shadow, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel Villarreal. Appreciate it. I just credit him for everything, even though I don't know if he uh, exactly did all the work here. My secret. Unfortunately, all these enemies came out of the woodworks. To celebrate my, my super shoddy. Okay. <laughs> sure thing there. Press this button. We are done with the unit. That is unit one. You get a, uh, a list of your kills and secrets and how long you spent in each level. Uh, but very, very nice. That's the whole first unit. We have ten units. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to trying to gauge in my mind how how long. I feel like we could do this in two streams. The main game. Might be it might be a bit of a push, but we'll 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 keep it going. We'll keep it we'll keep it trying. Uh, so let's have a save here. Drop a save. We must destroy the Strog logistical train and also find the entrance to the supply station. Lovely explosives, lovely explosives all over the shop. Oh hi there. Uh, but yeah, uh, to continue on with playing rhythm games, I also played uh, the only rock band uh, that has a retro achievement set, the ACDC Live Track Pack for Rock Band 1. 
Uh, released in 2008 exclusively at Walmart and some other store because those were the only stores you could sell ACDC merch in the US. Uh, was an 18 uh, song ACDC track pack. ACDC, the band, or at least the label, uh, was like, we don't like ACDC songs being released individually, uh, they said. So in order to effectively make, you know, Guitar Hero slash Rock Band songs of ACDC, uh, they basically had to release a whole album. So the whole game is the Live at the Donington uh, set list, the concert from 1991. Uh, you play it in order. Um, it starts off with Thunderstruck, and uh, it is um, a bit of a gnarly intro to, you know, if you never play Rock Band before. I personally have never actually played Rock Band, uh, so I was getting very used to that, you know, what the hammer-ons and stuff look like. Uh, is there something down? Oh, nice. Is there something down here I had to activate, or this maybe? There you go definitely that um but uh but after a while i sort of got used to it i'm still not fully there yet um so someone's probably gonna rip on my playing but at the very least uh i played through it all it there were definitely a couple of songs that would really catch me out um was it uh the like what is it oh, hi there. this guy is kind of annoying he doesn't have any ranged weapons but he like when i said you know, you can outrun every enemy. Except for him. He will find you. He will chase you, and he will get you. You gotta be careful about these guys. And they do this jump attack. They did not do that jump attack in the original. So you gotta really watch out for them. They take, like, three sh super shoddy hits as well, so... I got a bit of meat. Push button, push button. Very nice. Okay, these guys, why not? Oh, they are very dead. Oh, hi there. Where did you come from? Was he up there the whole time? Uh, now, the, now, being a rock band track pack, it, yeah, it really doesn't have any of the pacing of an actual rock band game. And on top of that, they, they do market it as a track pack, so you're not expecting any... Uh, fancy integrations with the band or really anything beyond it's just got the songs um, unlike you know I think Guitar Hero Aerosmith would have been out at that time so it's not a proper love letter to the band it's just it's just a track pack but uh, yeah no it's pretty well done as a track pack and uh, it's the first time as me playing rock band uh, I got to experience things like the big rock finishes um, the fact that bass has a six times multiplier and there's solos and stuff like that that was good fun, um, but uh, but yeah, it, it, fairly normal. I there's not much to say other than um, it emulates really nicely because you can adjust the audio and video latency in game really nicely, so you can basically make it perfect. It's it's really good at that, so good on it. Uh, the original Guitar Hero has no latency adjustment. Same devs, so it's purely time. They knew about it later on. Also, Rockman has a progressive scan mode, which is nice. It actually looks really, really good for a PS2 game, and I don't know if they're using a pre-rendered full motion video for the bands, or uh, or, or if it's uh, actually in engine. It's just you know, it's got enough like artificial grain. I love this button that just lowers the platform into the lava. It would be cool for multiplayer. In single player, that's a bit, you know, like, oh, why would I ever do that? Yeah, sometimes I get a bit stuck there. Also, you can drop down here. This is a secret I know of. It goes up. And it gives you this, the chain gun. Ooh. The chain gun, uh, similar to how the super shot. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. I hit the save button directly before. I'm glad that uh, you can still drop off and lose a bunch of health. Ugh. 10. Uh, but yeah, we can use this. Yeah, my only problem with the chain gun is that it burns through ammo. It's gonna be great against the boss enemies later on, but like, right now it's like, oh, like, I kinda wanna just stop firing after a bit rather than, you know, 
unrelentingly blast at them. It's not the tool that I particularly need as often, uh, unlike the, the Doom chain gun, which is very, very applicable all the time. You always want that chain gun. Um, I think it's because you could see that it had this like wind up and then it also winds down when you're done. Um, I guess like chain guns, I guess, but yeah, it, it, in, in, in a lot of these cases, uh, I don't need something that powerful. There we go, we got a door over there. Um, but yeah, last one I played was a game called Dexter's Lab Disaster Strikes. You might be thinking, didn't you write a retro achievement set for that? Yes, as of literally yesterday, uh, it got reviewed and approved and pushed into the core set. So I gave it a go. And uh, someone told me uh, the, uh, the defeat all enemies in the, um, uh, the chemistry lab uh, world did not work. And it was because I was pointing to a memory address of one enemy that didn't exist. So I was like, well, that one doesn't need to be there. So I dropped him. I played through it. I got all the achievements. The guy who played through it, he got all the achievements. We're all good. Happy days. No one knows the better. But yeah, that did happen. So I would definitely, I will play through that game at a later date. I just didn't want to play it right now because I have a very particular game I want to get to in six weeks' time. It's a very, very particular one. Um, so I'm going to be trying my best to land exactly on six weeks of streams for this game. Um, we'll see how it goes. Ah, yes. So, we need these power cubes. The goal is to destroy the Strog train, but we sort of just spent this whole stream trying to get into this one part. Oh, he loves his fans, doesn't he? Oh, very, very nice. He loves hiding the enemies in the little, little tiny nooks. It's sort of showering me with ammo. I don't think you particularly run through the game being light on ammo, so... This is the supply station. We must collect the four power cubes. They're all in this level. I like how this is all framed though. This this works quite nicely where it's like, yeah, they're giving you like objectives to contextualize what you're doing and you're not just blindly running through levels. Yeah, get him out of there. Oh. He's shooting my nuts. I guess I'm the female character. I don't really have nuts, so... Um, but yeah, I don't have too much to say about the Dexter's Lab game because I will definitely play it uh, sooner than later. Um, and I would like to show it off. But uh, in the meantime, I did also grab a new game. I had a... a was it Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, also, another isometric uh, GBA game. Um... But uh, yeah, I was like, well, I don't know that one as much as the Dexter's Lab game. So I'm spending a bit of time actually just playing through it and getting ideas for a set. What achievements will work, what achievements wouldn't. Um, I'll sort of just see what happens. I'll throw everything in the kitchen sink at it. There is a quad health in there. I want to see if I can like grab that. Is that going to like, come out like anymore? There we go. Oops. Where's it going? <laughs> this thing follows a path, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just, we'll just walk past it. Imagine like standing up on this box and some guy just <laughs> double shotty. Not fun. Not fun for you. The fun for me. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, no, that's all the games I've been playing. Um, definitely lots of stuff. Uh, I'm still juggling around uh, Chrono Cross, which I will uh, finish one day. Um, but I'm making some more progress towards that, so that's all good. Um, I'm still not quite enough opinion to tell you how I feel about the whole thing. I definitely still don't feel fully... I mean, okay, if anyone remembers how I played um, Final Fantasy VII, I still feel like that with Chrono Cross. I'm like, I don't fully know what I'm doing with the mechanics. Uh, oh, I'll just call the lift down, I guess. Um, we'll get there, I guess. 
Here we go. There's one power cube. I love this effect. Very, very nice. Very fun. Still gotta continue on with this whole level though. We gotta get more cubes. Lots of climbing on boxes. I love climbing on the boxes as well. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I've got, uh, while we're at it as well, uh, the, um, it might not be announced when I stream next, but it'll definitely be announced pretty much next week. Uh, NVIDIA, and more so a lot of, uh, you know, hardware manufacturers, uh, the Computer Electronics, uh, Showcase show, uh, at Las Vegas, uh, starts next week on the 8th. Lots of uh, companies will be there announcing their fancy hardware that they'll probably release in the early parts of next year, but sometimes they actually just show off a lot of late stuff. That, by the way, was the train. That, <laughs> we broke the train. Um, or at least the train tracks. I feel like this is a very simple train. Can we actually climb across this? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not even can we, it's should we, because that's that's the way to go. There we go, out we go. Uh but yeah, um I particularly know NVIDIA because uh people are made very, very aware of what NVIDIA is releasing. <laughs> Um, incredibly shortly, which will be the 4070, uh, 4070, sorry, 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super, and 4080 Super. That's right, they're doing a Ti Super. Um, but yeah, just some, uh, you know, halfway through the generation refreshes of these cards. Now, I really wish that there was a 4060 Ti Super in there, or a 4060 Super. I feel like there's an awkward part of the price range that is just left out right now uh, when it comes to the real nvidia products but uh you know they're releasing these so let's see what these are about uh we don't know prices by the way so everything that i say grain of salt because it could be very very good or very very poor depending on the price um but uh pretty much all the cards are a direct upgrade uh apart from the 4070 super does have a slightly higher power target at 220 watts compared to 200 watts of the original uh 4070 um, but the other ones they all have uh a um actually do they all have a memory speed i, I only think the 4080 super has a memory speed upgrade uh, the 4070 ti technically does because the 4070 ti super is based on the AD103 chip, which is like the 4080. You remember back in the day when the 4070Ti was originally going to be called the 4080 12 gig, and uh, people complained, and I agree, because it was a different chip. Now, well, it's the same chip, so it's uh, more a 4080 than it used to be. I'll tell you that. It's not even like, for, for its price class, it actually does kind of deserve to be a 4080, but the fact that they release another 4080 and it is a very different card, that's the reason why it shouldn't have been a 4080. Um, I, don't, I don't hate that they call it the 4070 Ti, and I actually kind of like how the 4070 Ti and 4070 are on the same chip, which is going to be kind of confusing when people see the Ti Super and it's a very different chip. Sure. Um, also, because it's a very different chip, it has 16 gigs of VRAM on the 4070 Ti Super. So, if you're uh, one of those people who really needed uh, 16 gigs, um, hopefully this thing is uh, at, at the very most the same price as a 4070 Ti. Um, oh, I did pick up all the cubes. Nice. I wasn't even counting in my head. Uh, and yeah, that just drops us off kind of at the front here. So we can use this to go back up now and leave this place forever um but yeah uh i am a, a 4070 ti owner uh, i don't 100 percent like my 4070 ti uh, i can't control the fans via msi afterburner and when they ramp up they are insanely loud this is an no 3d x3 um i love that it's small i actually like that it is like just just that tad little bit over two slots and i wish it was two slots but um we can walk in here and we put the the power cubes this will allow us to actually continue on and we can put the other cubes in um but yeah but for the actual performance of the card i do like it um and the price in australia isn't that bad you can find 4070 ti's for 1200 bucks 
uh, 40 70s for 900 um, maybe a little less on sale uh, but they're not half shabby I feel like those are both fairly you know competitive prices uh, I like how we go back to this level and it's like yeah, there's not actually that much left in it remember you're still sitting on these uh, these cubes so we're gonna have a lot of enemies come at us in the dark if only there was some way to see in the dark Put, turning the power back Wow. And they said, let there be light. And then there was. Oh, dang. I hope you love these enemies. I love these, uh, the, like, yeah, you know, it is a bit like all warehouse. Oh my gosh, these guys are ruthless, I tell you. It, it is a lot of warehouse looking, like, what difference is there between, uh, you know, Unit 2 compared to Unit 1? Uh, well, you're probably gonna find the same thing about maybe all the units. So, uh, just keep a look in, in... I don't know, actually. There's no on-screen indicator telling you how far through the game I am. So just take it with a grain of salt. Also, because you backtrack through levels, you will probably get a little tossed up about, like, how many levels have you actually done? Where are you at in the game? But... I'll guide you through. I'll, I'll keep you in tune. Don't worry. It's a very good jam. Uh, but yeah. So what's the what's the TLDR? So the 4080 Super, um, from the looks of it, is like 5% better. I really hope the 4080 Super just... Because um, they did this with the other Super cards. Uh, one of them launched at the same price. I think the, the 2070 and 2080 Supers did um and i hope they just do that like it's just eh, this is a slightly better bin 4080 people get very upset when it's like not a big improvement but when the price also doesn't move i can't complain that hard other than you know, just don't get your hopes up i guess uh the 4070 ti will definitely be a fairly big bump um and the 4070 has a decent amount of cores that they're adding in because the 4070 has a lot of stripped cores compared to the 4070 Ti, this white both being based on the same die. Hey, girl, there's them getting stuck in the wall. Um, so I think uh, if the 4070 Ti is a good price, we'll see. Um, but if it's a good price, uh, I think you'll definitely see a uh, very, very competitive card going on here because uh, right now the 7800 XT is virtually the same card in terms of performance. But it costs 100 bucks less over here in Australia. Um, I think in the US it's a bit, you know, a bit more of a. You know, AMD's pricing seems to be all right there. Um, every other card though from AMD actually isn't like that insanely well priced here. We've got the 7700 XT. It's not that it's not that bad actually price wise, which is very strange because I think everyone in the US says it's a bit no man's land. Um, we've got the 7600, it's 420 bucks, it's like, uh, it's not, it's not really that much a saving more than the 4060, and the 4060 is a pretty alright card for its price here, so I don't know, someone's gonna say, am I an NVIDIA fanboy? Uh, I guess a little bit at this rate. Um, I try to be fair, I try to be very fair, so I, I don't rip on AMD, for example, I've sort of waned off ray tracing, which by the way, uh, I just would like to mention, uh, Quake 2 also had the Quake 2 RTX release, um, in 2018 or 2019, when the RTX was brand new. Uh, this 2023 port does not support ray tracing in any way, so just, just a heads up. Down we go. Everyone likes a good staircase, it does I want one of these in my house, with a little window. Where would I put it? I don't know. You gotta want something before you, you know, fully understand where you put it, you know? If I knew where to put it, but I didn't want it, that'd be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Um... Ooh, check that out. Ah! I feel like Half-Life has an exact same, like, part there. I don't even need it, because I'm at full health, but... Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, uh, but yeah, 7600, not a great price. There's such a massive gap, again, to the 7700 XT, and NVIDIA could, sorry, well, AMD or NVIDIA, ah, here we go. Perfect enemy for the chain gun, finally. He's not that strong, actually, but he is, you know, a beefier enemy. We'll be seeing more of them later in the game, 
But, uh, that guy is, uh, sort of a... He's like your Baron of Hell. Um, you know, he's got a bit of grunt to him. A couple of dudes all over the shop, though. I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah. Uh, Sad the 900 XT. That's, uh... The, I think, what did that launch in the US? 900 bucks? Um, it is commonly found for 1300 here, which is 100 bucks more than the... 4070 Ti. I think it definitely performs fairly decently for a hundred bucks more, but it is also, oh, but it is also like, yeah, you know, you're trading up whether you want, you know, your ray tracing features or not. What am I seeing here? What am I shooting at here? Yeah, I'm at the ceiling. Very fun. What an interesting, uh, little hidey hole there. Um, but yeah. Last one is the, uh, 7900 XTX. Uh, you can find that a lot here for 1500 which is actually a very, very good price, given that that's actually competing against the 4080, which is 1800 I don't like the 4080's price here. I really don't. Um, you don't get a ton of performance more than the 4070 Ti as well for that price. Like, that's what I mean. Um... It definitely is more performant, but for that price, mmm, mmm, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. So, hit the switch, and we shall ride the conveyor out into victory. That's the end of Unit 2. Yeah, so it was only three levels, don't worry. Press the any button, I don't, where's the any button? Now, Unit 3, I would get lost quite a fair bit when I would always play. We are entering the jail area. Pew. Let's have a drop another save. Here we go. Destroy the security grid protecting the industrial region. Which is in a jail for some reason. Uh, I think I needed that in order to get that armor, so... Darn. But that's okay. We can wing it. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really like, I mean, the general graphics card market, as we all know, is sort of, oh, I don't know, um, is a bit scuffed. Will these 40, or will these 4,000 super cards be good? Well, I, you know, like, they don't seem worse on paper, so more products, always good. The only thing that could make it bad is a bad price, um, especially given that they're on an architecture that we know, and I think people are very, very, um, positive about these cards in particular, the 4070 and the 4070 Ti, I think are the stronger parts of the video lineup right now. And the 4060, if the price is better. Gosh, you gotta deal with like three of these guys. It's a mouthful. It's just like, ugh, ugh. Get out, get out, I don't want him. I'm just kill like all these fellas. Oh my gosh. Is there a ledge or it's, oh, I don't know. That's what you get for not being right next to him. Let's jump into the water. You never know if there's secrets down here. Um, now, that being said, uh, you know, we got the whole rumor mill talking about these cards. Uh, for reference, they'll probably be announced next week. Uh, they will definitely, or not definitely, um, the rumors are right now that the 4070 uh, Super will release on January 15, which is only a week after. The 4070 Ti Super, the week after, January 22, or 24, sorry, 17, 24, and then the 4080 Super, um, the 31st of January. So all of them will drop by the end of this month, uh, supposedly. Um, we don't know pricing yet. They'll probably announce pricing. Uh, if, if they, you know, keep the pricing pretty close to the original, it's like I'm okay with a little bit of a price hike for the 4070 and 4070 Ti Supers just because... They are stronger cards, so I don't expect them to be drop-in price replacements for the original um, cards. 48 is a bit too close, so I don't know, I don't like that one. Um, but also, as well, if they're competitive in pricing, then, you know, that's the main win. That's what you really want. I think there's sneak attack damage as well. <laughs> Ooh, dang. Ooh. 
Hold on. Get out! Get out of there! Unfortunately, you can't ride this. I wish you could. I love the skybox, by the way. It's rather minimal, but it's just like, look at, you know, you got some asteroids, got your big, big base tower over there. That's cool. Everyone likes that, so. Um, there'll probably be other stuff going on in the. Oh, by the way, here's a new enemy. We got a railgun guy. This guy looks real mean. Uh, and he does claw you. But he only takes four super shotgun shots. He's not as bad as you'd expect, but the railgun ruins your day. If you if you come across that railgun and he hits you with that, you do lose a lot of health. So you don't wanna you don't wanna be in the way of him. They get kind of annoying when there's multiple of them, but they can't move. They're really sluggish. So I think I'm just going to the level backwards. There's a lot of infighting as well. You can you can trigger that a lot with a lot of enemies. Who's gonna win? Hey, my man! Cuts and lasts for half a second longer. Well, this area looks familiar. No, it's, no, it's not familiar. Don't shoot the explosive barrel and it just sat there. Yeah. The enemies are just like, who? Who? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll bonk him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. Well, I was expecting them to run into the lasers, but uh, I guess that this works too. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the lasers powered? Where oh. Whoops. Uh, well, I've got a quick save, but that's from like a minute ago. That was a bit of a whoops. Uh. For the people who know what happened there, there was a bunch of red lasers across the floor. Just like the ones that all the enemies walked into. Uh, I walked straight into the red lasers, which were not in this room a moment ago. I especially don't want to just, just fly into that. Don't worry, I saved a bit closer this time. Nope. <laughs> nope. This is, uh, not at all how they expect anyone to handle this. There we go. That's right, they're really mean. They're really mean. So, okay, so this is forward to the level, so then which way do I go? Just rely on the handy dandy compass. Huh. Up that one lift there, I decided to just not go up. And hit the computer. Wow! Oh, is that the end of the level? Oh. Hey, you wanna let me down, or...? I think that is the end of the level, actually. There's not too much that we didn't see, so... We'll just continue on. Like, nothing happened. Alright, we need to find a blue key card. My favorite. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll see some other tech announcements as well. I mean, it is CES. This is definitely where you'll see a lot of stuff. Uh, monitors especially, I think, will probably be the space people should keep an eye out. Um, if you're still rocking uh, a dingy, small, like, 21-inch 1080p uh, 60 monitor, um, and you feel like maybe you want some kind of upgrade, um, you might see some cool stuff going on at the show. Uh, will it be downstream to you? Uh, we'll see, but... Definitely, I think there's a lot of interesting monitors uh, for very good prices these days. Um, so that actually might be something that people should really like look into. Um, also, processors are very cheap these days. We'll probably not see anything brand new because Intel just released 14th gen, um, both desktop and mobile. Uh, the mobile stuff is a lot more interesting. I'm seeing a lot of like weirdly promising results from the um, was it the Core Ultra 5. 125H. I'm trying to trying to get my head around that naming scheme. But that one's pretty alright um, from the looks. Uh, proper media lake as well. Just for reference, if anyone's like, "Oh, what do you mean? It's just a refresh." Not the mobile parts. Not some of the mobile parts. There are still 14th gen mobile parts. There's a uh, media lake mobile parts that are also technically 14th gen, but I don't know, man. It's all over the shop. Um, I guess AMD's got their 8000s, but that's actually a refresh, and there's nothing like, too much to that. 
I like how that was all what the blue key card was for. Just that, just that one door. Just that stuff. That was not the direction I expected you to go. Get down, my man. There we go. Wow, this is gonna be fun in a little tiny corridor. Have I really not found any other weapon other than the? There we go. That's a hit. Um, yeah, still shotguns, machine gun, and uh, still holding on to grenades. Ugh. I don't think there's any need to jump up there. Uh, I also don't think there's really a safe way back down. We do have to cop a little bit of a drop. Uh, was there a? Oh, we'll come back here, because I know this is how the level design works. It's a bit of a T-junction. You're going this way, and you'll enter another level over here. Um, yeah, lots of cool consumer electronics, which is the whole point of the consumer electronics show. So, uh, give it a, um, like, a, a look to just see, like, you know, follow some people, find some cool stuff. Because uh, I think that the show is um, always a great place for... Um, companies to show off this kind of stuff, especially because you, the buyer, might want things. And if you don't want things, uh, well, you know, that's okay, that's your prerogative. It's just, yeah, it's cool stuff that you can have. I just like looking at cool stuff, that's it. Uh, now, for jails, um, you know, weigh it up whether you think, ah, yes, appropriate practice in a jail. Uh, these, these guys are not, they don't count as kills. You can kill them. They actually do drop ammo and stuff. You're not exactly punished for it. But, uh, they don't count as kills, so you're not required to. Or really rewarded much, if at all. Oh, there he is! My boy! These are not the medics. Oh no, they are the medics. Never mind. Do you look- do you- Oh my gosh. And yes, unlike Archviles, in, in, in Doom 2, by the way, uh, the medics can revive medics. This makes them on my list of things that I really wish didn't exist. Because now it's like, I gotta deal with that guy again, and he's just, he's just gonna try and bring him back. No, just, they are going, they will be the most annoying part of all of Quake 2. And I don't even think they're in the original game. They're just thrown into this, so you gotta deal with them. <sighs> so we've got another level over here. This is the actual security complex. We need to go over here and find a red key card that's chilling in here. What are you doing to this guy? Help. Make it I got a couple of voice lines where they don't say particularly a lot interesting. They're just... I assume the, the, the law reason is that the Shrog are mostly, I mean, because I got like faces and stuff. What the Shrog mostly are is that they actually like assimilate people. They capture prisoners and they uh, take them to be uh, kind of, you know, brainwashed cyborg hybrids. Uh, also, we got a grenade launcher, so hooray, now you don't have to manually throw grenades. The grenade launcher is good fun, but the arc is still... I'll still never fully get... Oh my gosh, I don't... I'll still never fully get used to it. And it does... Oh my gosh, hi! Uh, it does get a little cumbersome... Oh my gosh, a little cumbersome with these guys jumping about as well, because uh, they're right up in your business. It's like the spawns from um, Quake 1. It's just like, I don't want to use a explosive weapon around them. That's not fun. Everyone else? Like that guy? Easy money. But this guy? Nah. Where is he at? There you go. Easy. Oh, don't... don't, don't. Bruh. Can you just shoot my grenade as well in the air? Oh, he's gone. Get him. They don't have a ton of health, but it's just... They're an absolute nuisance, those guys. I don't like them. Oh, and there's another one down here. Why not? <sighs> uh, oh. 
Man, yeah. Jeez. It's not quick saving as much as I should have. And they got this blaster as well, so they, they are like decked. They're equipped to take you out. Just make Quake 2 just that little bit more annoying and, and problematic. Gotta deal with medics. Like he's just chilling up there. Come on, get him, get him. There we go. Uh, so let's talk about uh, perhaps a lot of people's favorite pastimes, which is uh, arguing with people on the internet. I do it occasionally. Uh, I've sort of gone. Oh my gosh, please. I just, I just wanted to stop. There you go. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. He's finally gone. Finally. Um. I've got this lovely pyramid. You need the pyramid key. If you don't have a pyramid key, what are you doing? This is a pyramid. <laughs> this is just a pyramid, out of nowhere. Um, maybe I should have used the quad damage. Would have been convenient. Um, but yeah, the uh, we got a little ledge up here. There we go. Gosh, I really got like a nose itch. I've been taking my hand off the the was keys every so often, just to itch my nose. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's a red key card. There we go. We can use this to deactivate the yellow lasers back in the detention center. That's right. We got double backtracking. We got to backtrack to the previous level to be able to then go back to this level. Also, don't forget, we can go down here. What can you do down here? That's right. Cry about this guy. Uh, he's got a bit of, bit of stuff on his personnel. Oh. You gotta watch out for those rockets. The drop in cells, yellow lasers, still activated, further access not granted. I think some of these messages as well they've added in in this port, just to make it a bit clearer what's going on, because, uh... Yeah, this area is very easy to get a little lost in, uh, especially without the compass, which I have not used yet, so... Um... But I think... What you're meant to do is that now you can... Well, oh my gosh, hi. You can go back to some of this... Oh, hi there! Go. Uh, you can go back somewhere, and we'll find a place to pop that key in. Oh, there we go. And then with that shot up, I believe you can rotate back around, and you can go on the other side, and that's a little, little tiny secret. Very, very nice. There's a quad damage over here, which again, <laughs> me not using my quad damage. Oh, hi there. How you doing, medic? Chilling in the back there. Get him out of here. Get him out of there. Get him out. Don't want him. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about um, uh, what I refer to as the betas. There's people on the internet. Sometimes there's, uh, you know, some people are the masters at it as well. Um, well I'm very immature. I'm sorry. Um, there you go. So the red key is used on that door, I know, right? Uh, but there's some people on the internet that I come across where it's just, and I don't actually like, I used to like, you know, under like a pseudonym so it wouldn't exactly like trace back to me and I could burn it very easily. Um, just rant with people on the internet, like dude, people like are so long on, you know, Reddit and Twitter and stuff like that and it's like, oh my gosh, I just gotta, I gotta tell them they're that they're wrong. But there's some people out there who are legit just betas. They will just say things purely to elicit response. Um, and I know that, you know, it's not like a mystery. But, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm having a bit of a rant because I'm freaking, like, I'm trying to find discussions, I'm trying to find points where people, you know, discuss wars, you know, pros and cons, fours and against for, um, you know, for certain topics. In this case, I think the topic was, uh, people not liking localizers, which I completely get when, you know, they don't view their work to be good. If you if you if you played a bunch of games and you know the localization's a bit bad, it's like, ugh, that really does tarnish your experience a lot. And especially as well that it feels like um, 
what's the what's the one? It's like it's like if imagine a chef cooks a lovely meal, and then um, like the the person who serves it accidentally spills it, picks it all back up, and it just does not look the same at all. And in fact, ruins some of this. Like there's parts missing or things like that. Um, did we pick up the key? We must have picked up the key. Yeah. Dude, it's so hard to like follow along and like see that you're doing stuff. So now we go back. See what I mean? It's like, oh, it's a bit of, like, weird backtracking. And the worst part as well, I don't think an enemy spawns. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, sorry. No, 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 not that guy. But, like, we should be able to go... I think this door was not open. That's what, that's what was happening here. So we can go in uh, here. Oh my gosh. Also, I love how, um, and I don't know if these were in the uh, original game, these drop pods, but like these are the pods that like you landed in at the beginning of the game. That's some fun world building that like that's some, you know, more unlucky person. Should be able to actually get up there. Can we? Maybe I can get up there via some other means or we'll just, we'll just take him out from this. Yeah. So here we go, the guard house. We got more, more level over here, more level in this direction. Have I said how much the music is a vibe? It's a good vibe. Yeah, rip the people who played on Source Ports and didn't actually realize that, or the the old uh, scene version that didn't have the music. It just never shipped with it, so it was just like the pack that didn't have the music, and it's like, ah, oh, you're missing out if you didn't hear the music. There we go, an ammo pack, very nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I find like when when someone is there purely to elicit a reaction, um, you know, some people call them trolls, some people whatever. It's like they, you know, you gotta you gotta like. Just take a step back. I don't think they're even worth like really engage. Oh, hi there. I don't think they're even worth like engaging with. Look at this guy is coming to hug ya. He's cute. I want one. I'm not actually that strong. Like the the weaker than you'd expect. Um. But uh. But yeah, it's like I don't know. So around the the whole localizer business, I particularly saw someone who was replying to like. 500 posts a day for a couple of days straight. It's like, oh my gosh, like, chill, bro. <laughs> like, you know, I, as much as I have an opinion on localizers, you know, trying to be as faithful and accurate as possible, it's like, you're, in my eyes, the localizer's job is to, you know, try to try to accurately convey the uh, intention of the um, of the developer, oh sorry, of the or of the writers, I guess, but also I guess the developers as well. Pretty much everyone take the original work and try to frame it in as original of a way that makes the most sense for uh, Western-speaking audience. That does mean that sometimes you'll have to toy around with some sentence structure. I'm not expecting you to literally do like you know the verbatim you know translation because uh, you know. The verbatim translation doesn't look the best. But, like, I, I think some people say, like, you know, like, I want a localization. I don't want the characters saying Pog Champ every two seconds. Like, there's that, which is, like, definitely an exaggeration, but certainly you can find instances where, hey, they just cited an internet meme. And it's like, yeah, okay, like, I don't like that necessarily. I feel like you could do a lot better and a lot more. You know, have a lot more staying power if you uh if you don't just throw in current memes and other kinds of things like that. Um, that being said, I also do agree that the like you know the localizers uh, sometimes uh, yeah go go very overboard. And then yeah, the 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 bit that gets kind of there you go. Do you like how I spotted that trap? I spotted that trap. I knew I was like ah yes. So you're supposed to pick that up and then uh. Sort of fall into a spike trap. Some people, well, a lot of people weren't very lucky. Uh, but we got this laser gun. That's very cool. This laser gun is actually very, very neat and uses uh, the cells 
ammo type, so we'll, we'll be using that a fair bit. I think we're liking assault rifle, except it uh, hits harder. Or machine gun, sorry, it's a machine gun. Let's see, it's a machine gun. Hyper Blaster. It does have a cooldown, that's why that's why it doesn't look like I'm shooting right away. But it is very good at taking out the, the larger dudes. There you go. So, oh, there, hi there. This guy seems very super shot, shotty guy. Uh, how are the kangaroos and wombats today? The kangaroos and wombats are doing very, very well. They're actually, they're, they're having a bit of a snooze because it's New Year's Day. Um, but they'll probably, I, my parents have a wombat problem where they just like burrow up around and uh, will just eternally dig holes everywhere. But they actually do, they do take out the rabbits. So if we ever have rabbits eating flowers, it's like, nah, wombat's gonna, gonna, you know, take care of that. So that's nice, at least. Um, we got the, the power armor, by the way. The game will sort of automatically activate the power armor, but you can see, sorry, power shield. But you can see that it's like, oh, 261. Hold on, wait a minute, that's the same as a hyper blaster. And this comes the fun part. The, the power armor actually consumes the ammo instead of hurting you. I mean, it, it hurts you a little tiny amount. Some damage still comes through. But, uh... But it's actually like a general shield, and so you get into this interesting trade-off where I don't necessarily want to... Actually, do I have that feature turned on? Uh... Is it in... Where would it be? It's not in accessibility, is it? I would imagine it's in gameplay, right? Or did I just scroll past it? Auto power shield. Yeah, it's on auto, so it should, it should sort of turn on when the game feels like it should. Maybe once I don't have my actual shield kicking in. But yeah, as long as I'm picking up cells. Uh, when fosters with Vegemite. I don't have fosters too much, but Vegemite, yes. Vegemite all the time. Vegemite is, uh, I was going to say, is my bread and butter. I, I literally eat it with bread and butter. It is such an acquired taste, Vegemite, but trust me, it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's great. How actually, how easy is it for, like, people overseas to get Vegemite? Because, like, do you have to import it? Does anyone make, like, sort of Vegemite? Like, li someone could get away with just releasing Vegemite in, um, in the US or something like that. I would totally set that up. <laughs> give me, give me a official Vegemite uh, proxy. We sell Vegemite. Let me see. I'm wandering through corridors. I'm going all over the place. Uh, back to here. I'm hearing dudes. Well, that that's the last enemy. I'm finding a lot of secrets. I've noticed. I don't. I didn't realize I knew that many off the top of my head. Okay, I think I gotta do the lap around. It's the other way, but we'll get there. We'll get there in a moment. Unfortunately, they turn off the music. It's the, it's the prompt that you're done. It's like, yeah, hey, you can go now. There we go. I know, right? Backtracking to the beginning of a level feels kind of odd <laughs> sometimes, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I I don't know about the 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 betas. Um, of course, not everyone's a beta. Don't you know? Don't like call people out as bait. Well, you can. Free country, free internet. I don't know. But like, um, but like, I don't know, I, I in my in my mind is like the moment I spot someone is just wasting my time. Just, I don't know, I'm done with them. And I've sort of got the privatization of the Vegemite industry. Yeah, because it's owned by, um, Kraft over here. I mean, Kraft has an international presence, doesn't it? So, uh, I think if we just drop down here. We pop that, that's the pyramid key, into the spot. And, uh, this is, this is not a boss. This is just a regular old enemy. But he flies. And shoots lasers at you. Oof. I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo. They're really giving me a lot of these uh, cells. I need the sec security 
security pass. <laughs> really go all that way just to get that? Alright, where am I going? Security pass located in the torture chamber. Oh, really? Oh, it's the other way. It's the other way. There's two levels. There's two keys, two levels. I forgot to go back over here. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Now, these guys aren't the easiest to hit with the, the laser because uh, you know, they dodge. Also, lava. Listen, it's not a game that I love unless it's got lava. Oh, hi there. And I lost a lot of health. I'm continuing to lose a lot of health. Oh, you like those side dodges, by the way? There, I get in the jump in the lava. There's a secret area. You're okay, if you say so. Wow. <laughs> it's like shallow up to my feet. It was very secret. That that being said, I like 100% there was a Quake 1 secret. That was like you just had to nice. Uh, you just you just had to like take a guess that like a uh, a lava pit wasn't actual lava. There's a lot of like fancy stuff like that. I don't think there's really anything like that in this game. Get out of my way, bro. I don't care that you're, you know, you're in pain. That guy is uh, a bit singed, a bit toasty, a bit crispy. I left him in there for too long. So here we are, the Torture Chambers. This one's a fun level. I think a lot of people will probably recognize this one if you played the game. I think some guys come from above. There's a, there's a, that is a very, very weak secret. Just, just look around the wall, man. There's nothing around that wall, though. Also, I like this uh, gap here, just to try a bit, I guess. Um, I don't have a lot to say about betas, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I've just noticed a lot more. They'll, like, engage in the discussion. They'll just, like... I mean, they probably have that opinion. They wouldn't necessarily be fighting people over this localization debate unless they, like, at least had some kind of opinion, right? Right? The goal isn't just to rile people up, is it? But I feel like the, the goal becomes rile people up. Because um, uh, uh, sometimes you start going, okay, guys, you, like... I lied about me being a data scientist. Someone's like, oh, I know exactly what person you're talking about now. Um, but it's like, it, it, like they were saying, it's like, oh, I was a data scientist, uh, or, or I am a data scientist. And they'd say that about a lot of things. And then suddenly they're just like, oh, I'm actually a localizer. And I've been ruining all your favorite properties and adding my own personal agendas to them. Like, just saying that, but then it's just like, I mean, you know, to some degree it's like, oh, can't you tell it's sarcasm, I guess, but like, the, the, the amount that they were like debating people, it's like, I don't know, it seemed like they should probably just, you know, get a job or something like that, it's like, I don't know, man, you really debate people on the internet that much? And it, like, I only single out this one person I saw, uh, I'm not naming them just because I don't think it really matters too much, um, but I only singled them out because I saw a lot of, like, them replying all over the place and we'll just keep showing up Drug you CD oh yes by the way yes CDs I mean it's 1997 or 2023 depending on when you think this game came out uh, but it's like yeah, no CDs are eternal except um, until uh, oh wait we've got the CDs we can now go on this. there you go at least then at, at least you know whatever alien language at least a and B are the same. <laughs> And also the word cell block. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Drog. I guess they're human in some way. Oh, they don't make that an easy corridor to hit him in. Alright, just. Oop. Just need to. I need to rile him up. Just go at him. Uh, but yeah. Also, not a Blu ray, not a DVD, it's CD. I think it's because Blu-ray and DVD have licensing costs, whereas CDs you can technically produce on your own. 
Fun fact. Oh, does that close that behind me? I think it did, actually. Huh. Oh, it closed both behind me. We're not, we're not fully stuck, although, uh... Yeah, we're not fully stuck, because we've got this little tiny hole that's in here. I greatly appreciate these guys not coming at me, though. I'll tell you that. They're prompting me with a rebreather, but, like, where's the swimming? Oh, here it is. I think they really want me to use the rebreather on this one. So the rebreather gives you, uh, yeah, 30 seconds of being underwater without taking damage. I don't think I needed 30 seconds, but sure. Oh no, watch out! He's about to become a cheese toasty. Oh, he actually had the security pass as well. I think this is acid. It's, no, it's not. Get out of there before that closes on me. There you go. Privatization of the rebreather industry. Exactly. We must have rebreathers for all. <laughs> Imagine shooting your buddy like that point blank. Dude. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh. oh, I wonder where the exit is. Again, I don't think that was there in the original version. I actually think they added that in just to, you know, help you. Oh, I'm at negative 10 health. We should actually use the power shield. So the power shield can actually, like, yeah, you see it, I mean, one, if they use a laser weapon, you do take more shield damage. Um, uh, but, uh, also he did have a, uh, hyper blaster on him, so very nice. I think there's actually, is there a goodie down there? Maybe, let's just hop down. But as long as you keep your, your ammo up, you're actually a lot more invincible than you expect. I think it's pretty neat. What's going on in this room? A lift! Whoa! Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess, yeah, general comments about people who spend a lot of time on Twitter, I don't know. I, I was one of those persons. I think everyone probably feels like they can. And honestly, if you're getting social media engagement, it's like, you know, you're in a bit of a vicious cycle where it feels like you're getting some, you know, I'm making a real impact, real impact, but nah, legit. I have not seen much significant change ever happen on like Twitter and stuff. Uh, even if I am strongly opinionated on this, well, not strongly, even though I'm, I'm a little bit opinionated on this, uh, you know, localizer discussion. Um, one, seeing a lot of discussions never go anywhere, and no one is convinced of anything. It's, it's sort of just, it's not a great use of my time to participate in that. And two, uh, like, what am I actually, what is actually going to change? Uh, I guess this way also works, yeah. Alright, so now I actually got the, the key code. We can hop down here. Am I running out? No, I've still got plenty of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got armor as well as... Uh, power shield. You just get some cells. You're all good. So here we go. Through the door. We've got the grid control. Hit the gritty. Time it, you can get your grenades. Can we do it for here? There we go, very nice. Uh, this is gonna be a bit awkward, isn't it? Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> like, bro, like, oh my gosh. Just to get all the way to the other side. What do we do here? Well, I don't know. Let's use the grenades. Eh. Eh. <laughs> lasers recharge your health. Uh, their lasers don't. You hear that noise? It's like a guy burping in there. Man, 
Damn, I ran through all my topics in an hour and a half. I didn't have much to say about the localization one. Want to take out those guys? Oh, the ground's shaking a bit. Here we go. Meet uh, a boss. He's uh, he's a guy. He's, he's probably got a name. I don't know. I don't, I don't know my boss names. Uh, he's a big tank, and there's also a couple of dudes wandering around trying to like slap me. You see that? So you gotta watch out. He's got a he's got a minigun, which probably means I should be using my, my minigun. There you go. There goes that. Oh my gosh, they're jumping at very weird angles here today. I like how the enemies have like some damage on them as well. Um, when you hit them a bit, so... Uh, this is actually a... Is this... Oh, that is the same room. What's in the center here? Well, maybe we shouldn't, you know, observe. Instead just, you know, <laughs> exit the level like we should. Defeating him drops this pit in the middle where we can drop down and climb down the ladder. See? Exactly. Oh, true. Oh, those lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I feel like Half-Life has a lot of, like, you know, same realm of a level design. Because that came out afterwards. Just shoot that crystal for a bit. That's it. That was the whole grid. That one crystal. And now we can just exit. There we go. So that's that world. That unit. Let's continue on a bit more. We're up to unit four already. You could have just asked him to turn it off though. <laughs> He's just running straight through here, through the mines. Alright, so. A mine, I guess. Do, do, do. I love the footstep noises, by the way, as well. Uh, I, again, I don't know if the footstep noises are base game or just, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know, I like this remaster a lot. I, I feel like it's very understated how, you know, a bit of a coat of paint on just like, you know, making the lighting smoother, making the texture filtering, and the fact that the enemies have interpolated movements, although a lot of source ports uh, we'll do that these days as well for this game. Or is that a quake? Some people are a bit purists on that one. I'm like, nah. Um, although I do remember, I will shout out, the original Quake 2 did have a lot of um, uh, interpolation warping. Basically, how the way the interpolation would work is... Oh boy. Oh my gosh, hi there. How the way the interpolation would work is that, like, the animation is, is animated like... <laughs> there we go, perfect. Um, the animation is, is done at like 15 frames a second or so, for example, because I know it is in Quake 1. Um, when, uh, when you run the game at like 60 frames a second, it's got to go, oh, okay, well, there's four frames in between. So what it does is that it would either, it, I, is it a sign or would it be a linear? I'm going to assume it's a linear interpolation of every vertex to where it ends up in the resulting keyframe of animation. Um, that means that when an object rotates, it actually shrinks as it rotates and then grows again. Um, it looks a little weird, but just imagine like, um, I, I, I don't know, like imagine a square in your mind. If, if you can, if you can imagine this animation in progress. Imagine a square in your mind, and then imagine that square needs to be rotated by 90 degrees. So every vertex, uh, moves clockwise, um, around the square to the next position of the, you know, the next vertex. Um, as it rotates around, you can imagine halfway in the animation, all the squares are, sorry, all the vertices, vertices are, like, on, you know, halfway down the edges of where that original square was. But that means that it's effectively showing a half as large, well, not half, but, like, it is showing a, a smaller square for that in-between frame. That's what the interpolation was doing. Um, this source port definitely fixes that. These are uh, properly animated models. Um, they're not exactly like HDified. Actually, I think maybe some of them are. Like they, they changed the models just a little bit just to visually look better at different angles. I'm not too sure. I, 
I have to double check that one. We're gonna have a lot of these flying guys popping up all over the shop now. They're very alright with the uh, machine guns. Not too bad, because you can just, you know, look at them. And as long as you can track them, circle straight. Oh, hi there. Who are you angry at? He's angry at something. It's not, I, I don't know if it was me for a moment. This is a very cool building though, I'll tell you that. Where'd they come from? They weren't there before. I was thinking, would there be something in the water? Something in the water. But nah, there's not. Or oh, maybe there are. Little armor chips, armor shards. Yeah. Was that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes a lot of the, the units just have like a transitional level. Where it's just like a start to finish. There's nothing really too much going on with it. We're in the upper mines at least. That's right, there's multiple mine levels. There's toxic conditions in the lower mines. So we're going to need to activate some vents. That's right. Um, I was going to make an Among Us uh, mention, but Among Us is a 2017 game that was popular in 2019. It is 2024. I am not going there anymore. We are done. We're not doing... I actually... Oh, dude. I was going to buy... Um, uh, a, uh, I got like a very young niece, and uh, I was going to like... I was, I was shopping for like Chrissy presents, and I was like, oh, I really wanted to like get a... Like a plushie of some kind, and I found like a 45 centimeter long pink Among Us like crewmate plush, 15 bucks, and I was like, this, that, like one, I don't know if my cousin necessarily, uh, you know, would approve of Among Us. Fortunately, he does, so I missed that opportunity. But next time, next time, it's pretty plain, but I was like, nah, kids love plushies. Especially big ones. It might be a bit too big. I don't know. I ended up getting her like a like a. I didn't realize John Deere do like kids like toys to get them interested in like farms and farming equipment. So it's like a little like John Deere tractor with a face, and it's got like a barn where the doors open up, and then it's got like um uh like a cow and a pig so that they can go inside the barn, except all of them have wheels. All of them have wheels, so the pig has wheels, the, the sheep have wheels, so it's all great. It's kind of such Chungus plushie. It was a very Chungus plushie. Kids toys are weird. I, I'm, I'm out of the loop on like, what are the kids toys that you, you get. Um, I, to me, and a, as an Australian, it's like, all I know is that, like, oh my gosh, is that, like, kids that are three-year-old love plushies, and they love Bluey. They're un, un, like, unconditionally, every three-year-old loves Bluey in Australia. Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Yeah, I'm, I'm running on fumes on ammo all of a sudden, after my comment on how you don't run out of ammo very much in this game. When did I pick up the rocket launcher? <laughs> Alright, rockets are separate to, to grenades by the way. I'm like Quake 1, so uh, feel free to use your rockets at other times. It works as it should. It's a rocket launcher. It's actually a lot more easier to control than some other games as well. Uh, did you watch Spaceballs? It's been ages since I've watched Spaceballs. I'm just shooting that straight through his legs. I'm probably not gonna get like a crazy amount of rockets right off the bat. Ah, that's the lower mine entrance. Okay. Good to know that it's down here. I love the merchandise scene. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta I gotta watch Space Balls again, I'll tell you that. Oh cheeky health right there, because it's like 
We'll get it on the way back, because I know I gotta drop down for it. Yeah, if it looks like it's like, oh, like, haven't you hit a dead end? Nah, it's probably like a fork in the road. And I've just gone down the wrong way of the fork. Like, the compass is probably just going, no, 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 you gotta go that way. Yeah, okay. Best part, uh, when I later learned about the background of the scene. The background of the scene, ooh. Oh, look at that. Friendly. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to wing it. <laughs> Broke my neck. That's okay. Uh, because George Lucas and the special effects people actually did the special effects and part of the deal was that there'll be no Space Force merch. Oh. Okay, so we saw the level from here, so, uh... Where are we going? Where are we going? Who would have signed- who would have said that deal about, like, no- no Space Force merch? Alright, hold on, where are we going? So, I was... In the right realm. Oh, it's literally just down here. Wow. Did I just not act- I just didn't actively go down this route. This rocket launcher is very convenient. When they did launch an escape pods in the end scene, that was actually an unused scene from Star Wars Episode 4. Oh, very, very nice. Nice. Ah, uh, it's so good. Again, I love that they're dodging all my shots there. Oh. That's a bit of a dangerous hallway, isn't it? Yeah, you can see the minigun uses three ammo, like a go. After another play Quake. Oh, hi there. It is a very, I mean, this game is very different to the previous one, so I'll, I'll tell you that. And then Quake 3, just to bonus points, if someone's like, oh, when are you playing the whole Quake series? Quake 3 is a multiplayer-only game. It has a single player where you play bot matches, um, but they're basically like deathmatch-style modes against bots. Um, in the same way that Unreal Tournament, in that uh, same year, did. it was a trend. A friend of mine recently got me into Ultra Kill, though. Oh, I heard about Ultra Kill. yeah. I think there's a room for a for a boomer shooter in everyone's hearts. Uh, well, I'm sitting on plenty of grenades. That's the fun part about having grenades separate to rockets. Oh, oh, that's some swish dodging right there. Okay, I got hit by one. Dang it! It's not my type of game. Normally, hey, if if you can find a game from a different genre that you know you dig. <laughs> um, if you can find a game from a different genre that you actually really, really like. He showed me uh, some, and I was, neat game, but not something I was going to play through. Then he got up and was like, how do you do it? Now you do a lot. Ah, your mate, your mate knows the magic, how to share a game experience. You just find the cool pie, and you get someone doing the cool pie, like, right away. Sometimes, the best games will start off with cool parts. Bought the game that evening. Nice, nice. I gotta buy some stuff in the same time. I've bought a bu bunch of uh, gift games for the mates, but I haven't actually bought anything for myself, so... Also, yes, your grenades are still a weapon slot, so you can... Ugh. You can still just throw them. You don't have to shoot them, but there's not much value in... Oh my gosh, please. No, I was just doing the first level. The gameplay is amazing. I actually, I, you know what, running in my Steam library is, um, Ion Fury, I was gonna call it Ion Maiden. There you go, look at that, it cleaned it up! I guess the fans are on so I can't drop through now. Looks cool, but playing it yourself. I'll have to give it a try at some point, because, uh, like, I, I really love it when a game is just, like, more than it looks. When it's just like playing it, it's like, oh, it's delish. Um, <laughs> reminds me of uh, Cook, Serve, Delicious. It's one of those games. I, I, I find like, no matter how much I can talk about it, how much I can show gameplay, nah, you play it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I'm nearing the end of my ammo. And that does indeed lose your power shield, which is a bit unfortunate, so... 
Either we find some cells, or that power shield is gonna have to disappear. It's not the end of the world, because it does reappear. It has a demo to feel free. We should give that demo a go, yeah. Again, very scrimp and buy on ammo here. And yeah, I can't, can't exactly drop through there anymore, so... Um. It's a way a modern boomer shooter. I should give those a try. I mean, I've, I've played a lot of proper boomer shooters, like this game. Oh no! Poor guy. This is the borehole. Otherwise known as my Twitch channel. Get the mega health. Uh, I can go back for it. But like... Oh, well, I've actually just consumed the end of that, so... There you go. Um, the way this level works is that uh, this is kind of your way to continue on the world, but uh, okay. uh, but we can't. It's not operational right now. I we'll have to go back for it. Man, I'm I'm really scrimping by on ammo. What's going on here? I'll find plenty later on. Don't don't you worry. But There's some real dancing around going on here. I'll tell you that. Did I play Quake 1 on hard or normal? Either I'm just better at Quake 2 or... No, not me. That's a bit embarrassing. Do we just commit? Do we just commit and keep walking on or do we try to load that? No one saw that, no. Nope. Alright, we're committing. We're committing. Uh, we just can use the grenades. Oh look, my power shield's back. There you go. Oh, I thought that was an enemy there. Nah, it's just some ammo. You gotta watch out that you don't just like dance back and forth directly back into his line of fire. If you are circle strafing, we will miss you. Oh, hi. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm 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 in the pits. I'm in the pits. Okay, they're fighting. Actually, that's perfect. I'm trying to dodge damage, and here I am just like landing on my own grenades and that kind of stuff. I'm not doing a great job, am I? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, health. Look at that. And whatever's going on there. And the quad damage that I still refuse to keep using, apparently. Also, if you really want to give up, you can still just rely on that. All faithful, but uh. Something in the water? Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> it's just, I just love seeing them just jump. Alright, we're gonna need to keep that, like, keep that close, but man, where's my ammo chilling? That's a bit mean, isn't it? Oh, it's just, it's just back up here, okay. Uh, well that's most of the enemies, and I'm pretty sure we've got the power back. Pretty sure. Uh, it's back up here, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, I just got myself turned around, ah! Ah! Down, around. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoops. 
I didn't activate it. It was right here the whole time. What a fun sequence. Got some dudes coming out to just annoy me. And, and ruin my day. Oh boy. Dang it. Dang it. I had a lot of health just then as well, so that was a long I stream. Um, I'm gonna try and do, uh, the fifth unit. I think, cause this one, like, will go on not too much longer, the fourth unit, and then I'll do that fifth one. We'll call it there. So, it'll probably be another half hour, maybe a bit more longer. Um, just cause, yeah, I wanna try and get the, the, the base game done in, uh, in two streams. And then we leave one stream for, uh, we're going to do three episodes, three expansions. And also then i got to do the, the, the machine games levels. I'm curious, can I fit that in six streams? We'll see. We'll see. But I'm hopeful. Uh, so that's the power back on. Now we can leave. You can see the compass is just like, yeah, okay, just wander all the way back. All the way back. <laughs> so far back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all the way back up here. Just so you can hit this button. And now you can go. To an exit. There you go. We're nearly out of here. We got a drilling area. We need to find a service, an access bridge, and the service elevator to the factory. Because that's where we're going. Factory. Oh, hi there. Well, I got out of that one pretty good. Okay, jeez. I, I decided, I, the nice part about this game is that you do feel like, you know, you do feel real empowered when you're getting, you know, like, larger swarms of enemies. Even though, um, actually the enemy counts are a bit higher than they were in, oh my gosh, like, what's going on here? Um, the enemy counts are a bit higher than they were in, uh, Quake 1, generally. Like, Quake 1 is not a particularly large game. <laughs> This one, I don't know, like, I feel like it's got, like, 30-something levels when you when you break down the maps. And the maps themselves are a little longer than Quake's levels. Quake 1's levels. Strong pancakes. These are strong pancakes. I don't know if I would eat a strong pancake. I think that would be cannibalism. Uh, uh, and it would also be very crunchy, because computer chips. Let's see if we can pop these around corners. There you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I mentioned Quake 3, by the way, is a multiplayer-only game, so you probably not get too much, uh, out of me playing it. Um, Quake 4 is a single player, though, and Quake Champions is a game that I thought died uh, also multiplayer only, because, uh, I think they thought Quake was one, first and foremost a multiplayer game and not actual real good single player experiences with really good multiplayer components using those mechanics. We still got a couple of weapons I haven't even gotten. Like, look at that weapon wheel, it's missing stuff. Uh, well, no, that's the beginning of the level. Not much mystery there. Or is there? Oh, yeah, 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 you literally, yeah, this is, Quake 5, no, Quake 5 doesn't exist, unfortunately. That is the part that confuses me, is that, like, you had to then also double, do a double take and realize you go back into this level, just to go down again, and you're still in this level again. Like, that's the confusing part, is that you clearly could see enemies and other kinds of, you know, stuff that you still had to get, but no, you just had to, like, double take and go down. Uh, I remember reading a review in the last Quake in the gaming magazine, like, Choice, and Quake 4 was the last, and Quake 4 did have a single player. Quake 4 does have a single player. Um, you get your legs chopped off. It's a good game. I should give it a go, again. But it definitely is in the realm of, like, you know, if, if Quake 1 and Quake 2 are signs of their times, 
Quake 4 is definitely a sign of what 2005 looked like, which is uh, squad shooters and fancy lighting. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely a, you know, change of pace. Sup, Bradzo? How's it going? Happy New Year. Hope you have had a great 2023 and a great New Year celebration. And I hope 2024 is even better for you. Um, cancel Quake game where you travel back through time to kill the Shrug before they become strong. What are they? The Weeg? The Weak? Weeg? Uh, oh. Uh, oh wait, we gotta, we gotta pull the lever first. <laughs> what a great, uh, same year Doom 3, I think Doom 3 was 2004, but yeah, yeah, like, same engine, pretty much the same, just jump in the hole. That's right, we got some lower mines going on, this, this unit keeps going on, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, hi there. I love these enemies, by the way, because they seem like they're, I mean, they're kind of bulky, but they don't do a lot other than they fire lasers, which is probably a lot for most enemies. Uh, we got some platforms. Make sure you ride the platforms, don't drop the platforms. We actually was asleep by 11 p.m. last night. Hey, if you got the 9 o'clock fireworks, that's all good. I don't know, I did not see the 9 o'clock fireworks in Sydney, so I don't know. Also, depending on where you are, they may or may not do 9 o'clock fireworks. What a, what a pop fly shot, and that still got me. Let's go drop down on him. What are we doing? Let's go grenades. Um... But yeah, so Doom 3 and Quake 4 were very close to each other. Um, also understated, but still on the same engine, uh, Prey, the 2006 game, which I would also really like to, to play on this channel at some point. Um, that one, even though it's actually published by 2K, and thanks 2K, by the way, you are sitting on a gold mine of a release, and you are not releasing it. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi. I gotta watch out because that laser just turn on again. As I walked into it. Are there more enemies just chilling here. I don't know. Probably. Maybe this is an alternative path. That one got robbed of a sequel, the original Prey. It did. It did. And that whole game is like, you know, it's it's not actually incredibly sad because I think it did okay for what it was although it could have done better with better marketing but it's the fact that its legacy is purely through hearsay oh my gosh oh my gosh oh oh i don't have time to get that we have some stim packs on the back but yeah there was an adrenaline back there i was like oh i could have got that at least these guys drop uh cells so that's cool Sure. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> um, were there any other big id tech games? Um, I didn't mention Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'll mention that one. Um, uh, there was an adrenaline in that corridor where the machine was chasing me. The machine would block where the adrenaline was sitting, so I couldn't get it if I was too slow, which I was. I wanted to pop him off into the lava, but no. Um, yeah, yeah. It was just an adrenaline, so it's not like... I mean, I'm still sitting on my own adrenaline. It's not It's not a biggie. This is the world that keeps going on. No, nope, we're just back into this level again. Gotta take out a few dudes before we can stand on the exit elevator. Alright, there's one down. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I got a rhythm, and the rhythm works, okay? I'm dead meat if I just stand out there. Oh, can we climb up here as well? Yeah. Who needs an adrenaline when you can just... There you go, worth it. <laughs> There we go. Well, that's Unit 4. Out we go. Definitely a bit longer. I mean, we had five levels going on. So, uh, but yeah. Now for one last unit before uh, I end the, the stream. Which will still be a, a, a bit of game, so don't worry. Unit 4. 
I guess this is a rescue mission. That's probably why we're doing this. I, I've completely forgotten what the plot. Um, actually, is it a rescue mission? I thought we were, like, taking out the big guy and we sort of crashed on the way. So, uh, we're struggling. So we got to shut down the processing plant. Um, and find an entrance to the processing plant. Very, very nice. Yes. Hi there. What are you looking at? I hope you appreciate that I've just not been using the, uh, the regular shotgun for so long. And then I go, hmm, why is my uh, super shotgun always running out of ammo? For the little guys, I don't know, the regular shotgun does the job. There's too many big guys, though. Well, I'm not quite going the right way if the, if the bits are going that, that way, so... We'll rotate around. We'll find some pathway over here, maybe. We've got a door. Uh, sure. Fish! I hate fish. I want to be on a seafood diet where I see food and eat it. Dude, this poor guy is sitting here on this ledge and no one can get to him. There you go. Throw some more levers all around. We're draining lava. But yeah, I feel like I... <laughs> I just want to mention again, I, I love the, the visual style that the Kex engine does provide. It's got this kind of nice warmth to everything. A softer look. Uh, I, for reference as well, I intentionally have motion blur turned off. Oh, my favorite enemies. No, I don't. I hate these guys. You see, you see this? You see this pain? You see this absolute pain right here? Because I got this like shield, and then I'm trying to like shoot them, and they're gonna—they're just dragging me all over the place. I hate these guys. I really hate them. But they don't bring enemies back to life. They're not—they're not like a, a certain other enemy. Um, yeah, for reference as well, if you want to see with a motion blur on, um, it's intentionally off for this reason. It's like, <laughs> I don't need motion blur. I have, I have a 240, well, I, I don't have a 240 hertz monitor. I have a 144 hertz monitor and that's good enough for me. But it's like, you don't need motion blur when your monitors are going fast enough. It's there for the consoles. To make it seem like the picture's going smoother than it really is. Pro tip, turn off your motion blur. <laughs> Except in a racing game, because that's always nice. Ooh, knocked him back there. Uh, so what are we looking forward to in 2024? I'm looking forward to February 29th. We've got a leap day, finally. Do we- will we have- I actually- Okay, real talk, does anyone, um, know about Leap Seconds? Um... Oh, 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 by the way, uh, that's all. Can we get to it from here? If you do a pro jump here, that's a secret level <laughs> of that waterfall. You have 30 seconds to collect what you can. This is a bit of a throwaway bonus level, but, uh, not a throwaway, but, like, there's not much to it other than I'm walking around picking up stuff. I love that little timer you've got, just constantly in places. Um, and if you can grab... <laughs> bit preemptive there. We got a railgun! How cool is this? The railgun is one of Quake's most iconic weapons. Introduced in this game. Uh, I believe... Yeah, okay, the level just exits for you. Uh, if you attempt to... Oh, if you attempt to... To return to the level, it just doesn't go anywhere. It just doesn't. It's a bit of a weird secret le level, but uh, yeah, I think it is the earliest time you can get the railgun, which uses its own ammo, by the way. So again, you can capitalize on the glory of the railgun, um, or a wall gun, if you will. Uh, it does not wall bang, unfortunately. We drop down there, so uh, where are we going? Not down the hole. No, no, no. It was the door, of course. Oh, this area looks familiar, but now I'm coming in from the other angle. Oh, okay. We'll have some opportunities to use, uh... Oh! So check this out. Taste of his own medicine. The railgun does a... I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing a ton on this guy, but it's like effectively like a super shotgun, except it hits from wherever. 
which is very cool. And you do get a comfy amount of ammo, eventually. Uh, this path slowy thing, was that in the... It was not, no. So in the original, if you didn't know where you went, where you needed to go, uh, good luck, meander around, you'll find it eventually. Um, it's in specifically the 2023 re-release, uh, and it's a godsend for me who does not quite know 100% off the top of my head where I am going. Uh, <laughs> it puts me on track and does not waste any time on, on stream, so I appreciate it for that. I generally say try not to use it too much, but... Um, because, like, you know, ideally the level design flows for itself, but I think we've seen a couple of examples already where it's like you pick up an item and you just have to know that you've got to go like all this way back. What? Oh, that sounds like some last minute shots there. Um, I want my five hour streams back. We'll see, we'll see. I was gonna say, because uh, last year I had one where I played Metro Prime 1. I don't have on my roadmap quite yet Metro Prime 2. I'll give myself the opportunity to replay it again. Um, and then I can... That is a sound effect and a half. Um, I do... I will give Metro Prime 2 a, a go, though. It's not a... I'm not ruling it out. There's so many games I would love to play on stream, and uh, I feel like now we're in this realm of, uh, you know, sequels and trilogies. Was it the Water Pirate that was missing? Yeah, it was a Water Pirate, yeah. Yeah. Granted, that only added 10 hours. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it added 10 hours, that's what it was. No, it only added 10 minutes, really, I feel, or 15 minutes onto the stream. It was already uh, a four-hour stream, so... <laughs> or at least, I think it just passed four hours, but, like, anything longer than, like, three and a half hours is already, you know, in that camp of too long for my eyes. Strog Bio Assimilation Tank deactivated. Hi there. This is a funky tank, ain't it? Uh, the Metro streams for long because you're having fun. Oh yeah, exactly. There's, like, are the, I'm trying to think. Are the streams that I went on for a long time the ones that I had the most fun? I don't necessarily know. I don't, I don't think so. I think generally I have fun in pretty much all the streams I do. But definitely those Metroid games, I... Oh, well, those Metroid streams, rather. Um, yeah, no, I had them so much fun on them. Uh, and then the last one, you severely underestimate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I should have called it. I should have really called it. This is so convenient with the railgun though, because it's like, because you know, in a in a world without a sniper rifle, this is what you need. Mixed back, mixed bag Metroid is fun because Tomb Raider is part pain. Yeah, Tomb Raider is part pain. Yeah, I. That's why for Tomb Raider three, I prepped ahead of time. I I really wanted to make sure. And in turn, it did mean that none of the streams were too long. Although, um, adding it up, both of the streams for the uh, the Lost Artifact expansion were shorter than my uh, one Tomb Raider two long long as heck stream. So I was like, in theory, I could have actually like you know done it as one stream, but I didn't have anything else queued up. I don't have a one-off that I, I can do off the top of my head, so I gotta get some one-offs. Yeah, I, for reference, I don't think of my schedule that far in advance, or really a schedule. The only one that I have is the next game, because I thought of this uh, last year, and I was like, oh, that's some fun timing. Um, that's it. Everything else is uh, sort of top of my head, or one of like four games that I no, and I want to play. Emulsifying flesh press unit deactivate. Oh, I actually want the flesh press unit to be still active. Uh, I would like to reiterate that that a lot of this uh, game again still kind of blurs with itself in my mind. It's sort of I, don't know, I do get a lot of the every level sort of <laughs> feels the same. Some of the music repeats. Some of the you know. There's not some crazy map geometry really going on because you are indoors a lot. So it does kind of feel like a series of corridors and rooms. Um, which is weird as well because Quake 2 uh, prided itself on one, not having a software render mode and forcing players to use the OpenGL uh, renderer that it shipped with. Um, in turn, it meant that they could guarantee that people could... Uh... Oh boy. That was, that was smooth. 
Um, it meant that players, uh, they could guarantee that players could, uh, support the, um, the, um, the coloured lighting. This is the, this is the game that, uh, basically had coloured lighting. I, don't know, I say the game as if no other game had that, because I know, um, Duke Nukem 3D. On a simpler engine, mind you, that was not really true 3D, but it did have colored lighting in that engine. Uh, but this one, this game, they were like, yeah, no, we really want colored lighting and, and we want to leverage OpenGLs in the face to basically do that, which is rather forward thinking when you think about that. Although it did rule out a lot of people. Return to the receiving area. Why am I missing 10 enemies? Oh, was it up these stairs? No, no. I must have just gone super fast or something all right well back out we go back out we go <laughs> is that quad damage constantly teasing me oh check this out look at this level design it's been a while since i've seen one of those guys haven't it you like how my ammo is like much more plentiful again it was just that one part i tell you i tell you yeah, uh, hi there. I like how even they have faces as well. Yeah, I was like, hmm, that's a weirdly different looking piece of wall. I don't think it, it gets any deeper though. You beat Metro in two streams. That, yes, I don't imagine. Oh, here we go. Well, that was a bit quicker than I expected. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a lot quicker than I expected. I did beat Metro in two streams. I do not expect Metro Prime 2 to be two or even three streams. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The the two Metro Prime streams, that was seven hours. That really could have been two or even or sorry, three or four streams if I wanted to. I don't think Metro Prime 2 would even be a seven hour game. I think it would be a bit of a longer one. But that's that's unit five done. We've got five units left. I think that's a good point to to stop it. They rendered the factory. What a very long, long path. We're just destroying everything. We're walking along. We're breaking everything that belongs to the Strog. What are they gonna do? Oh my gosh. Apparently have a big tower. That's a good sound. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So we'll save there, but we'll call it there. And just as a bit of a fun one, let's have a look at some concept art. We got, we got some fun descriptions as well. Quake 2 wasn't supposed to be a sequel. Uh, which, yeah, isn't that fun? Like, Quake 2 really has nothing to do with Quake 1 at all. Um, they just made Quake 2 as the name because that's, uh... You know, the brand recognition. There's a lot of fun ones as well. I would recommend, uh... I, I, I would recommend this game, man. It's, it's such a great release. And, yeah, if, you, if you're if you curious about, like, how what it took to build some of the stuff, you know, there's a lot of cool documents in here, including these fun design docs that you can read. Because that's, that's what I love about, like, game dev. You just write a document. You write it all into, uh, effectively a Bible. And everything needs to somehow meet your Bible, you know. It's like a script. Um, you can also look at, you know, the items themselves or the enemies. There's that one guy. I love him. I hate him. And, uh, oh, there you go. You can see some original, original models. Yeah, you see what I mean? They're cleaned up a bit, but they still retain that old style look. I don't know if they have the wobbliness to them. Do they? Maybe they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see the wobbliness? That's ha that's what it, f it, would, it would feel like. It's just like, ew, it's weirdly wobbly. But then the new model, nah, it's fine. As well as also a texture that actually makes it pop out a bit. Just a bit, few more vertices here and there without really changing what it is. So, it's good stuff. Um... So yeah, but other than that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, uh, then yeah, you can follow me on Twitch. If you miss parts of it, you'll see the VOD on YouTube sometime in the next 24 hours, and you can subscribe there. Uh, I don't exactly, I, I had the Shadow Man uh, bonus video as exclusive content. I don't exactly have any more exclusive content queued up, but it might be, who knows. Um, but yeah, uh, you can also follow on Pluroma, where I tweet about some things. Well, it's not tweeting, it's not Twitter, but yeah. See you sometime, probably not in the next week's because university. Ah, good luck on university, my man. 
and and yeah to anyone you know 2023 if it was a good year make 2024 better if 2023 was a bad year make 2024 better you've got the power in your hands the future is ahead of us that kind of stuff hopefully some good games come out and we don't have terrible pc ports in before todd announces elder scroll 6 and everyone loses their mind despite the fact that bethesda has continually released games that need modding and patches and sort of don't live up to the expectations that people set on them i don't know stuff like that see you fellas have a good one